who, who owns it is an important, who runs it is important. Yeah. And through that, for instance, you could have uh, the, the, the idea of engineers being hired by, hired by the network. And how does it do that? Well, the network itself has its own banking system in it. So it's storing profit. It's taking a profit. All the people know how much they're paying in profit. Automatically. Yeah. Right. And you can create a sort of, we have this in the book as corporate 2.0 or corporate 3.0, right. where you create these nets that, um, and the nets really have kind of a management, an, under, uh, an infrastructure, a skeleton for management, for managing tasks. And we could get together and spend two years as engineers, business people, uh, all sorts of consultants and people with ideas and people who know much more about it than I do we can get together and, and create systems, software systems that will help people do this. So you have, for instance, a list of employees. We, we have a workers network, which a workers net, which would allow us to have access to a massive job market. And again, that's another subject for another and, and day. Yeah, and so all these Same nets thing. that you're writing, they're yeah. owned by the end users. They're yeah. not owned by you. The market. Or, they are the market. They're just they're just they're like a, a sort of a tool layer. Yeah, oh, that's amazing, isn't it? It's the wonderful. same the same way, you know. Anyway, uh, it, it is wonderful. It's a beautiful idea, and that's why it's so easy for us to quote unquote sell it to people because it's like yeah, it's a no brainer. Yeah, it's like you're, t you're taking many of the sort of blockages out, and just uh, and the technology is performing a function directly just to serve yeah. as a sub layer. It's exactly. Lovely. Rather than it being telling us what to do, we tell it what to do. We design it and we use it, and it's a kind of spring cleaning of the world we've got now. Everything that's not yeah. useful out. Like I don't care if my electricity company has fancy adverts that yeah. cost. You know, millions to produce, you know, and all this marketing and all this work to get our attention. These nets don't need your attention. They work and they do their job. Their job is to get electricity uh, to you, to your house. So are you saying like eventually that this, the network itself, so it's a bunch of people, I don't know who, get together and sort of set it up and um, program it. Mm -hmm. they, they don't own it. They create a decentralized um, application of some sort. Yep which creates the rules of how this network, which is distributing energy, will run. Protocol, yeah. Who, who votes on how that's set up? Who sort of determines that? Just engineers the most efficient way and people see if they like it or not? Um, well, there's two parts to that. One is who writes the software and who writes the software is people who know what they're doing. Yeah. And then that's, that, again, is open source so everyone can analyze it. We can be, right. You can really see what's going on. Right. You don't have to worry about us, the programmers, saying, you know, is that guy good? No. Right. And, and then what happens is it goes into a unit where your meter is. It's replaced by your meter now. Uh, your meter is serving you. So you, need, you know exactly how much you're selling and how much you're buying. And you have an app on your phone, which is again yours, yeah. connected straight to your meter, nowhere else. It doesn't leave your house. Wow. Your app is showing you per second what you're spending. There's no more mystery about having to have someone come and read a meter. Yeah. There's no more mystery about how much it's costing you. There are no special deals yeah. that work out to be like a way of tricking you into feeling comfortable when you shouldn't. Yeah. You just see, oh, I'm spending you know, five cents a minute here. And you can see it per second and you can see how much comes back and you can decide exactly how much goes in and how much goes out. Engineers can come in and shut down your electricity but because they need to repair something. But that's the reality. I, I don't mind trusting engineers to know what they're doing. Okay. And of course, all of that would be transparent within the net itself, within yeah. the electrical net, the software part, would let you know engineers need to do this, something's going wrong. You know, yeah. that's the sort of thing it helps manage. And that can be constant voting on every single thing, or you yeah. can choose to vote never, leave it on auto. You know, yeah. if the engineers say it's okay, then let them do it. They'll warn me, it does say default, so like, you know, warn people a day before if you need to do something. But again, there are no large scale works like that because it's, you're basically powering your own house. Yeah. What this is, is to supply electricity to uh, at, in and out where you need it or your neighbors need it. Yeah. It doesn't go much further than that. Yeah. We're doing this again, we've moved the model from, we've gone from this and we've, you know, inverted it. So now the power- So we're sort of a micro community level here. We're, we're well, on individual level. The yeah. home is the center of power. Again, you can still have authorities. You can still have yeah. leaders and guides and businesses Delegated and everything and people. delegate. Yeah. But it just won't grow so large and become cover up so many things. Because if it does, it will lose efficiency. And it doesn't have a constant outside interest of we need to make money off all the participants, all of the users. Yeah. It's incredible.